Hey everyone, it's your girl Tara Michelle. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel, Opinionated Scents, our safe space to discuss all things fragrance, whether we like them or not. <laughs> Today's video is all about my most complimented fragrances. So again, this is based off the compliments that I've gotten from people that are non-aggressive, non-like, you know, inappropriate. Um, just regular schmegular comments from men and women, from my kids, whoever smelled me and said, wow, you smell really, really good. And I know that a lot of times we go, uh, compliments don't matter. Or I'm not wearing it for compliments. No, you should be wearing it because you like it, but we're not going to sit up here pretend like getting a compliment does not like, you know, just rock a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. So if you're interested to see what I chose, let's jump right into the video. This fragrance has been my favorite fragrance for five years in a row. I believe it's five years now. I think 2018 was when it came out, if I'm not mistaken. Um, they could have used a better spokesperson, but we're not going to talk about that. Just not my vibe. But from the House of Guerlain, we're going to be talking about Mon Guerlain or the Parfum Formulation. I've lost count of how many bottles I've gone through. Um, she finally is starting to smell again like she used to to me. COVID changed this for me, which which really hurt me. I know some people like hurt you. Fragrance, I do this. Like I love fragrance. So yes, it hurt me. Don't judge me. But um, this fragrance to me is the epitome of perfection. I know some people have longevity issues. I've, I've never, this lasts all day on my clothes. Um, and I'm not really a skin sprayer, but I do remember it giving me like six hours on my skin as well because I moisturize well. Um, but this is a perfect <laughs> fragrance to me. It's a masterpiece. I absolutely love it. This is the original Mongrelant or the Parfum. I know we have floral, we have intense, we have sensual, we have so many. Um, they could have kept Sparkling Bouquet and they could have kept the Bloom of Rose EDP and EDT, but the rest of the line is pretty good. This one here though has garnered me so many compliments. People have been so kind. Sexy compliments, um, warm and cozy and inviting compliments. She's probably my most complimented fragrance of all time and I appreciate her. So again, that is going to be Mon Guerlain or the Parfum. I believe that this is perfection in the use of lavender, vanilla, um, and um, jasmine. Y'all know jasmine is not my favorite, not even close. I really would love to just not hear about tuberose or jasmine in fragrances anymore for like 10 years and I'll be perfectly happy, but this one does it right. And then, you know, YSL came out with their wannabe version of Libre, which is just so, I hate the whole line, except for the Le Parfum. The Intense was okay at first, then that lavender went bad in it too. Their lavender usage is terrible in that line, just my personal opinion. The next one here is La Belle, Jean-Paul Gaultier's La Belle. This is the original one, the best one in my opinion. Ugh, vanilla pear and vetiver. I mean, there's other stuff in it, but if you're looking to know what it's like, that loud, boisterous, super sexy. I have had people follow me and then finally work up the courage to say, what are you wearing? And I'm like, that girl? <laughs> this one was a surprise for me. Listen, let me tell you a little background story. Really, really quick story. Tried this fragrance from Scentbird, hated it. It smelled like rotten watermelon to me. Gave it to my coworker at the time, Ashley. Right, right. Two or three years later, woke up from a dream and said, I think I like D&G Lynn Paratrice now. Let me order it. Ordered it blindly, got it to the house, loved it so much. Second bottle since then. Um, this is a newer bottle. I wore this to a wedding a couple of months ago, I think in October. And um, the groom, when I was standing there to take a picture next to the bride, Casey, so beautiful, the groom stepped up behind me. It was like all in my neck, like, girl, you smell good. It was so funny. I bought her a bottle. If your new husband likes this so much, yeah, there you go. You're going to wear that. And then you're going to give me all the office babies I want. Bring the babies to work. I volunteer to babysit while all the rest of you work. That's what you could pay me for now. Um, but D&G Lynn Paratrice or D&G 3 Lynn Paratrice. If you like Delina, you'll like this. If you don't like Delina, this may not work for you. This is... This is, baby, this is one of those beautiful, fresh out the shower, just washed your hair type of fragrances. It just works. I don't know how I hated it at first, but I did. So glad I'm over that. The next one that reminds me of something like that, baby, let me tell you something. Ocean de Joa. Ocean de Joa from Giorgio Armani. I don't know how many bottles I've had. I will always have this in my collection. 
I will, as long as it's available to buy, I will always have this in my collection. The perfect out of the shower. This and Mademoiselle Roche's Eau de Toilette formulation were fighting for the best out of the shower. And I have to put D&G3 in there too. If you're the type of, especially in spring and summer, or if you're somewhere where it's always hot, you need fragrances like this. It's like the Garnet Fructis, you know, just, ugh, perfection. Oh my gosh, baby. That is just so beautiful. Clean without being soapy with the fruitiness of... <sighs> um, this next one here is Juliet Has a Gun Pear Ink. I super duper love this fragrance. It's one of those peekaboo fragrances where sometimes you feel like you've lost it and you can't smell it anymore. And then the next thing you know, first of all, everybody around you still smells it on you. Everybody around you still smells it on you. But it comes back like the breeze or you'll turn this way or you'll leave your office and you'll come back and realize it's still there. I love that. Um, it is just like, and I just love like they clean and Broxen, like, yeah, this could have also been on my addictive list. This smells so good. And I remember when I was trying to do a pair list, or I did a pair of video and people came to me, was like, uh-uh, ma'am, how you got a pair of video and you don't have this one? And I bought it. And I was like, okay, I got you. <laughs> I have had so many compliments on this next fragrance. The only thing that makes me mad about it is that it doesn't last all day. But I do top up, so I can't stay mad for long. From the House of K.I. Lee, we're talking about Love Fest Burning Cherry 48. Come on, y'all. Come on now. I don't care how you feel about K.I. Lee. If you've smelled this one, you got to know it smells good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, that smoky, cherry... You know, I think I feel like this reminds me a lot of Invite Amber. I, I need to get my nose on that one again. Um, bits and pieces of it. But this is a sexy, 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 sexy fragrance. Sexy. Perfect for date night. You're going to get about three to four hours out of it if you spray heavy. This next fragrance gets compared to Hypnotic Poison from Dior a lot. I prefer it. From the house of Jean-Paul Gaultier, this is Scandal La Parfum. And this is just beautiful to me. It's the caramel, vanilla, salt, just beautifulness of this fragrance. I think it's jasmine in here too, but like, you know, that's not whatever. But um, this is addictive. And I'm glad to see that other people liked it too. Because when I wore it, people were like, what are you wearing? Oh my God, you smell so good. Somebody thought it smelled like cookies. Again, people smell what they want to smell. But this is a beautiful fragrance. And I'm glad I picked it up. Took me a while to get it because it was like only on eBay for, for those here in America. Um, and then fragrance by .ca got it. So I got it from there and I'm glad that I have it because I really, really like it. It's really, really pretty. This is a fragrance that does peach right. And the greenness from the vine just works for me. It's a beautiful, beautiful fragrance, but it doesn't have that synthetic or off-putting cat urine type of peach note in it. This is one of my favorite fragrances. I'm glad that people love it so much. This is Flower Bomb Ruby Orchid from Victor and Rolf. And yeah, it's a vibe. I remember getting the sample and test it out. It came the day that I was leaving to go out of town. So I think I had it with me in like South Carolina um, or Florida. And just, yes. Now I don't reach for it often. I don't know why once I finished the travel and I have worn it because you can see there's some wear to it. But it is really a great compliment getter. Every time I wear it, and I think I've only worn it maybe three times, People love it. So I don't know why I don't reach for it. Probably because I got too much stuff back here. I'm not complaining. I'm just saying it's a lot. Next up, we're going to be talking about my clubbing fragrance. I say that because I've never been to a club before. But when I go to poetry slams, open mic nights, art galleries, because those are pretty much essentially my idea of clubbing, I wear the same fragrance for those type of events because it is such a huge compliment getter. And at this point, it just fits the vibe. This is from Carolina Herrera, and this is the original Good Girl. Baby, please. I don't care what nobody says. The packaging of this is just monumental. It's the stiletto. The fragrance is so sexy on me. I love it. It's my favorite from the entire line. I just, just give me the original. I think I will always have her in my collection because she rings so true to some great, great memories for me. And last but not least, in terms of compliments, 
I know everybody loves their Valentino, Donna, Born in Roma, but baby, I get more compliments on the Intense and I actually like the Intense a lot more. At first I was on the fence. I didn't know which way to go, but baby, it's, this is it. I had so many travels of this due to a goof up from Valentino um, and they didn't make me send them back. I offered, they said, just keep them. Um, that when I finally got the bottle, I should have got a bigger bottle, but I'm trying not to do that. But baby, this is a vibe. I love it. I love when I first spray like that first smell. This also could have been on my addictive list, my sexiest list, my most complimented list because I do get compliments every single time I wear this. Tell me in the comments which one you like more, the original or the intense. Um, you know, it's a safe space. You don't have to agree with me. Just, you know, let me know. And if you have you know, um, conflicting like thoughts, or if there's a reason, you know, for sure why you like one over the other, tell me that too in the comments. I'm just curious. So guys, thanks so much. That is my list for my most complimented fragrances. I hope you enjoyed the video while you're here. Please do not forget to click the like button, subscribe to my channel, select the notification bell so that you never miss any of my future uploads. Share me across all your social media platforms. Remember when I reach 10 K I will be giving away this bottle from Navitas Parfums in their collaboration with Sharita M of Amani Casonade. Also, in the description box, you'll find information about my son's book. That's correct. My nine-year-old wrote a book and it's the perfect stocking stuffer. Everybody should be reading, but we really, really should get our kids and keep our kids into reading. And it's a cool book. You know, most kids are going to like that type of stuff. That's the vibe of the world these days. But as always, I love talking to you guys in the comments. Keep coming to listen to me on Opulence Radio on my radio show, Truthfully Opinionated. I always have information about it. I'm on every night at 9 p.m. Eastern, 8 p.m. Central Standard Time on Opulence Radio. Download the app or go to opulenceradio.com. All that information will be in the description box on my community tab and on my Instagram channel. I'm trying to do big things here, guys. I've really fallen in love with the, I've fallen in love with radio and I've also fallen in love with podcasting. So I'm just flexing my wings a little bit. I'm just trying to spread my wings and fly um, in the, the best, most non-morbid way. Oh, my God. I don't know why. You know, anyway, so as always, I love talking to you guys in the comments. And until then.